All right, guys, we're going to be getting started here in just a second. We're going to give uh, people another minute or so to shuffle on in here, and then um, we will dive right in. And uh, there you go. Jason, Happy you're Friday, everybody. everybody. <laughs> What's that? Yeah, Jason's on mute. Thank goodness. We. <laughs> I, know, I, mean, I didn't want to mute myself. I was leaving. I was leaving myself. I was leaving myself muted for for a purpose. Anyway, how hey, How was Ireland? Man, it was great. It was uh, it was a tremendous trip. It really was. Thanks for asking. Awesome. I'm. I. You know what? You know, I was taking notes. I'm walking around with like I'm enjoying my vacation. But I'm also walking around with a notebook, like planning out our incentive trip that we're going to have next year for what we do this year Boom. with with better and all the stuff we're up to, too. They did a great job with it. Uh, it, it was it was fantastic. And of course, with the queen passing, it made uh, the traffic everywhere uh, impossible out there just in the whole Commonwealth. So uh, it's awesome. No, look, you guys had a good time. It was yeah. great. You know, you know what was interesting? We were in some lines, I'll just tell you, just because it was, you know, we're, we're at the Shelbourne Hotel, one of the oldest, nicest hotels in Ireland, in Dublin, and we're taking pictures with groups of people. And the low, the bottom, remember there were like 250 people, maybe 125 couples. And the bottom of, the bottom rung on the ladder, you know, the very starting ladder point was three quarters of a million. Uh, income so we'd be in a picture and it'd be a little fun I'd be with you know like a fatal or I'd be with somebody out there and I'd be like hey you know you're bringing your if we were grading on a curve you're bringing the average down <laughs> you know I was teasing a little bit because that was just it it was like that was the that's the starting point for that trip everyone up in there was from there on up you know there were some pictures where there was 40 50 million annual income in one photo with a small group of people that's you know, awesome. five, six, seven people. And I'm like, That's man, awesome. this is, it just, you know, what's, you know, what's interesting about that? There was a day and it seems like it wasn't that long ago, although it was, it was 27 years ago where I just dreamt of things like that. I, I wondered, you know, is this, is this possible? Is this something, you know, that, that can happen for someone like me? And um, sure enough, uh, not only has it happened, but it's happened for so many others that I just I'm I'm thankful that uh, I was introduced at the right time and that I did something with it because every single year uh, there were lots of people that were introduced with me every single month. And I had so many people spin off and leave and say, hey, this is looks too good to be true. It's not real. My uncle said it was a scam, you know, and and here it is 27 years later. And Curtis was going to intro me, so I guess we're ruining <laughs> we're ruining my intro. But that's you know, it's okay. I think uh, we'll just pretend that all of that I guess didn't occur, and then do the intro. <laughs> um, um, but that's probably a good strategy. <laughs> so Jeff, if you're done your story, ahead. we'll uh, yeah, yeah, you go. I'll, I'll stop with my story right there. We'll hit re pause and rewind right at the cliffhanger. Right. Um, Hello, everybody, and um, welcome to our training. We're we're uh, getting started right now, and um, I'm sure a lot of you are familiar, at least with the topic we're, we're talking about, employer retention credits and everything available with uh, better business solutions. And we're actually very uh, lucky today in that we have a, a very special guest that is joining us for this particular call. Um, he's the founder of Better. And I'm sure many of you know him, but some of you actually might not. Uh, Jeff Lavatan, uh, and and just so you guys understand that this is not just some you know fly by the seat of our pants, no experience doing this. Jeff has spent um, a couple decades in the financial services industry and built quite a substantial business. Uh, last year, they did 180 million dollars in commissions out to the field throughout their. Uh, just all of their different agents and all the different agencies. Uh, they brought 44,000 uh, people into the industry last year. 
uh, just to get uh, an opportunity to build their own business in that particular industry. And, and just so you don't think it's just Jeff who's built something substantial for himself in that agency, he has uh, 20 different people who each make seven figures themselves. So not only is he someone who's built an amazing business for himself, but he's helped other people along the way. He's a leader of leaders. And um, I've gotten the, the pleasure to know him for many years now. And I know many other people on this call would give the same story and vouch for everything that I'm saying here. But it's, it's also, it's not just what you do. You know, they say it's not what you, just what you do on the field. It's what you do off the field as well. So outside of the business world, uh, he, I've had the pleasure of working with him on his children's charity, which has expanded across 24 countries over the years that it's been open and uh, helped thousands of kids find, whether it be food, shelter, medical care. Uh, he's just someone who's gone above and beyond in all areas of his life. I've had the pleasure of meeting, his, you know, and spending a lot of time with his family. And he's he's a great guy all around and someone that I think we're all lucky to be in business with. Uh, whether you're newly in business with him or you've been in business with him for decades. So I guess without any further ado and uh, on the heels of a story <laughs> that we were right in the middle of talking about before, uh, I give you the one and only Jeff Levitan. You know what? Thank you so much, Curtis. That was a great introduction, especially after our argument yesterday. I was worried about <laughs> how the introduction was going to go, but it, truly a consummate professional. Uh, in the office and out of the office. I appreciate you. Thank you so much, Curtis. My pleasure. Um, and Curtis is going to handle a lot of this call with some of your participation. We're starting to get to the good stage of all these businesses and entities, everybody, because uh, we got people making money. We got people conducting business. We have people building their own agencies. And so we got proof of concept and we have results. And where I probably my expertise lies is in leveraging that to grow entities even bigger. So where we are today, and we're here on the on the call for the ERC, um, you know, we're we're at the very beginning stages. Yet it yet with all the enthusiasm, we we've got some deadlines that we got to meet, and so the regularity of these calls they should be every day, and unfortunately we can't do that with everybody because many of you have other things going on. You're part of other companies, you're part of other agencies, you do other things, but this little window, I don't know if all of you have started seeing this, but I'm getting text messages now a couple times a week um, from, from, I don't even have, my phone number is a personal phone number. It's not a, it's not a business line and I'm getting ERC advertisements, you know, uh, receive up to twenty six thousand dollars in ERC credits. Call today. Click on this button. Do this. Do that. And uh, I've approached a lot of my business partners that have been in the space for years, and uh, some of them are already doing this with some other company or with Jorns. I talked to somebody yesterday. He's down in San Diego, and he has hundreds of agents. And um, I was. He reached out to me through a referral. Someone said, hey, so-and-so told me I need to call you. You're up to some great stuff. And of course, I, I picked up real quick. I'm like, man, I, I was looking to call you. I was meaning to call you. So we both got on the call looking to recruit each other to do ERC through Jorns. I mean, that's that's literally straight to where we got to. And uh, and so it's the secret's out, everybody. So if you thought you'd be a secret agent, um, that, that that opportunity is dwindling quickly. Um, the good news is for the for those of you that have established relationships, I got a friend on, on the call here today. His name's Mike. Uh, he's from California. So he had and sold a very large property and casualty agency, commercial PNC agency. That's what they did. B2B selling small, medium, and large companies, um, property and liability insurance. And I wasn't able to really get a lot of business done with him over the years. We just maintained a friendship from years and years ago uh, when I met him almost 30 years. It's actually 30 years now. And um, but then I showed him this and he's off to the races, maybe even on this call today. He'll say a few things about he's already submitted business. He's known about this now for almost seven days. I think it seems that short. It could be longer, but it's like literally a few days. He already has 
a lot of cases in the works. And he also has a lot of great business partners that he's also leveraging their contacts and they're partnering up and he's, he's having the time of his life. His wife said she hasn't seen him this excited about just business in a long, in a long time. And, you know, he's, and, and that's, and that's what this is. It, it creates a new level of enthusiasm. And if you look back over your life and your career, you did the best when you were the most excited about what you were doing. No, so no matter what you're doing, I'm looking on this call here today, obviously tons of entrepreneurs, there's attorneys on this call, there's CPAs on this call, there's financial advisors on this call, there's white collar, blue collar, no collar people on this call. Um, we, we got all types. Yet we're all here enthusiastically marketing um, ERC. And I want to tell you in the first 30 days, by the way, this has been 30 days, one month. We've been doing this for a month. And in the one month, and I'm probably, it's a, we, we have already submitted over 80 companies. Listen to this. In our first 30 day trial period, and it was a trial period. We didn't have our own link to send to people. We didn't have any back office built. This was introduced to me by my friend, Rick, who's on this call too. Thank God he called me and introduced me to Greg, who now we have this now because of that. But 30 days ago, we didn't even know what this was. And here we are now. And we've got 80 companies on the books. On average, that puts us at about 3,000 lives. I think that's about $60 million of total recovery in the works right now. And we're pushing a total of six points out to the, or yeah, six points out to the field. That means in our first 30 day trial period, we've generated about $3.6 million in commissions, profit being paid out to you on this call. And some of you probably haven't even submitted a case yet. Go ahead in the chat if you would. If you submitted business, just say, hey, I submitted two, I submitted one, I submitted some. Tell me if you submitted something. I'd love to just see who on here has submitted. I'm not gonna have you raise your hand if you haven't done anything yet. I wanna welcome you to the call and tell you we're excited about what you're going to do, but uh, we're, not, we're not here to shame anybody and not doing anything yet. You might be hearing about this for the first time, but we that that's how fast and how much business has been done already. So um, super excited about it. I, I think next month, we're not gonna double it. We're not gonna triple it. I think next month we'll do hundreds of companies and we're going to have hundreds more associates. And then the next month we'll have thousands. That's where it's going to be. Uh, I talked to Greg Ammerman uh, yesterday and based on just some of our early projections, we think we're going to do about $3 billion worth of business uh, in the next 12 months. And, and if you do, you can do the math on 3 billion, 6% paid out to the field. That's a lot of money. So you know, just, 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 I'm blown away by the opportunity. I've been in business 27 years. And although my, my financial services business paid 180 million out in profit last year, um, it's, it's astounding to think that it took me 27 years of hard work, a lot of Saturdays and Sundays, a lot of time away from the family, just because I was in a different vehicle. It was a great vehicle. I'm so thankful and blessed that I was able to build a business that that made a lot of people better off financially. But now we're just in a new era. We traded in the skateboard for a Ferrari. And here we are looking to do it in 12 months, what it took me 27 years to do. And some of that is experience. Uh, I started that business when I was 24 years old. And this next month, I'll be 52. So I, I have a lot better of a market, a better contacts. And there's a, a better opportunity at hand right here. And so it's simple. I've never seen something so simple. I built my whole other business on having to get somebody um, licensed, both insurance and securities, before they can make a sale. And the average period of time from sign up to getting paid um, was never. Uh, if you're going to round up or down, it was never. Most people quit long before they got both licenses, wrote some sort of financial services business, hung in there and waited for their first paycheck. So it was closer to never than it was, you know, a year. Um, but even having said that, almost nobody got paid in less than nine months from scratch. So imagine the stories we had to tell and the vision we had to stretch and sell on the hope that someone would have a successful business 
knowing that it would take that long. And, um, and here we are with zero barriers to entry, a great partner in this space. Um, Jordan's has done over 7,000 clients so far, 7,000. So if you've got a CPA locally, and here's what's starting to happen. The dollar signs are out there, everyone knows, and small accounting firms and one man shows and one woman practices are trying to jump in the game. They're buying the software, they're doing this, and they're offering a little better deal, maybe a little better payout or a little less cost to the client, but they've done five, they've done seven. There's no E&O insurance for a million dollars on, on their submission. There's no five-year audit protection. They might not even be signing the tax return at the end. They're doing a little bit of paperwork and pushing it back to the person to have all the liability and, and send it in themselves. So there's a huge variation between what's being offered out there. And unfortunately, if you're not versed in it, you might get sold on the fact that, uh, that this deal over here sounds a little better. Because I've probably now I'm hearing about three different deals a week of here's another company that does it. Here's another company. But a lot of them are tax practices that still have all their current clients. They only had a little extra time per week anyway. How are they going to be able to handle any sort of volume? And are they the company that somebody wants to insure the deal with? I think Curtis just did a deal and he found out that somebody did it through a cut rate company and um, or somebody who just wasn't specialized in the area. And he found out what happened. Curtis, you want to do you want to tell everyone that story? Yeah, definitely. Um, just like Jeff was saying, it was it was just some uh, Internet ad that this guy happened to respond to. He sent over the information. Uh, they they didn't take anything less than we were taking. They were think I think they actually were taking twenty two or twenty three percent, and uh, he got told that he qualified for twenty twenty, and that he didn't qualify at all for twenty twenty one, and that he was only going to get about forty eight thousand. And he walked me through everything that his business went through during that time period. And there's no question that he's going to qualify for 2021. So in, in that particular instance, that other company did him the disservice of leaving about 150 grand on the table. And fortunately with Jorns, um, they're able, especially, especially 2021, as a lot of you guys know, 2021 is the richer year in terms of what amount you can get back. So he's still got a majority of the, the return still to get. So he's actually already moved forward with Jorns. They're in the middle of onboarding right now and sending over all their information. And we're probably going to get them all 148 of that back. So to Jeff's point, it, these guys are all, all not the same quality of business. There, there's a very big discrepancy one to the other. Yeah, there's all kinds of little sales sticks going on out there. I, I, I heard of a company that the minute you get qualified, they'll advance you the money, like a payday loan. Well, you know, for broke people, that's, that's great. But for business owners, what's the cost on that? And I'll tell you that it's highway robbery, it's factoring. What they're doing is now they're in the loan business and they're making very high interest rate loans to businesses um, for these few months. And it just eats into what somebody actually does get back. So one person will sell that as a huge positive and if you really look a little further into it, it's not. So all I would tell everybody here is to become a student of this business. Um, don't just take things at face value. If you're going to be successful here, number one, you got to be very aggressive. I'll, I'll tell you my personal opinion. Although you have till April of 2025 to file for the last part of 2021, we'll, we'll never make it there. Um, there's going to be thousands of companies in the space. And I think we have a six to 12 month window to scoop up as much as we can. And I believe at the end of the six to 12 months, almost everyone will have heard of it several times. And if you have a special relationship with somebody and you're able to get to them where no one else could, you might still be doing business uh, a year or 18 months from now. But I think if you're like the average person out there, you know a few businesses and you might have a little marketing strategy to go get to other businesses, the getting is good right now and it might not be 12 months from now. So if you're going to, if you don't want to be one of the people kicking yourself later for missing the window, then right now is the time to put other things aside and to get extremely focused on this window of opportunity. Next week, by the way, at the same time, 
uh, next Friday, Greg Ammerman, you're going to hear from. Greg's been working with the company for about a whole year. That's it. So we're, we've been working for a whole month. We're almost, most people can't even spell ERC yet. <laughs> and, and we've done about $60 million in the books. He's been doing it for one year and his personal income, not his organization, his personal income is getting up to about a million a month. And I was blown away because it took me 27 years to do that in financial services. So it's worth, it's worth the full attention of your time, I believe, right now. And I think a year from now or two years from now, something else will come along. We'll, we have other things we're doing and they're, they're awesome too, but this is exceptional. It's very special and it might be one of those things. And um, well, it is, it's not, it, it's not might be. You might take advantage of it is really the answer. So uh, Curtis is one of the people who, is building and putting together the backside for us at Better Business Solutions to, to be able to navigate and push things out. So he'll be doing a little Q&A session, but I would love to hear from some of you. If any of you have a story like Curtis, where somebody got 48,000 and they left three quarters of the money on the table, 48,000 sounds great. It's better than zero, but when 200,000 was there and they got 48 of it, that's not good. Um, so I'm hearing a lot of great stories from the field already. And if you have a story, this is your moment in time just to give us your one success story or something that you did that you think was pretty fantastic. I'd love to hear from you right now. And everyone else would also of one of your cases or one of you, your deals. I think it, it, by the way, the guy who's Greg next week, he's going to spend an hour on, on, uh, objection handling and selling and closing. So his stuff's great. And we're going to be sending out and pushing out emails, videos, um, FAQs. And I would just say devour it immediately. The more versed you are on this, the by far the more money you're going to make. It might make, it might be the difference of millions. So Lewis, go ahead. See your yeah. hand up. Uh, thank you, Jeff. And just thank you for this platform and this opportunity. Um, my story that I want to share was from two days ago. Um, sat down with the CPA. It, it, it doesn't have to do with how much money was left on the table, but they could have left this whole thing on the table. Uh, the CPA just straight out, he was very transparent. He said, you know what? I heard of the ERC, but I didn't give it too much attention. This is a CPA of over 30, about 35 years. And he, he said he was going through the nightmare of the PPP process, trying to get that uh, loan forgiven, which is why he said he didn't get the ERC uh, too much, uh, too much attention. I showed him the video, the five minute video that we have. He had a couple of great questions. His uh, biggest question was if we're going to have to go through the, you know, the, the, the time clocks and, and the, the, the time cards, it, it, it was going to be a nightmare. I said, you know what? That's a great question. I called Jorns, put them on the line with the CPA, put them on speaker in front of the business owner. We we're there at the conference table and it was done. He said, okay, let's do it. The business owner said he has uh, two restaurants um, on the lower end, 80 employees up to 100, but um, uh, we're looking at about 80 employees. And um, and that was just a story that of CPAs, he's a one man, he's like, I think you mentioned it, he's a one man show. Um, he has one secretary, but he he can't handle it. And he, he said it himself. I know that it's very detailed and it's a lot of work. He said, and I'm barely getting out of, so he was, and then we're going to bring, he wants to see the process. So we're going to bring him on as a partner as well to be able to help all of his businesses that he has on the books. Um, so, you know, it's an exciting time and I'm just excited to, to be a part of it. Yeah. And think about, thank you, Lewis, for sharing that story. That That's a story we're going to hear often. L luckily that CPA was honest and forthright and their ego was in check. You know, there's a lot, a lot of CPAs. If you're an in-house CPA or your client is that business and you kind of drop the ball on this, by the way, it is, you know, we're sitting here at the end of 2022. It should have been a conversation that already happened, but a lot of them, it didn't happen, right? So their business owner is like, hey, what the heck? Why have you not brought this to me yet? And the CPA goes on the defensive. And a lot of times what they say is, well, you know, you don't qualify. That's the easiest out. Oh, well, you don't qualify. So then they don't have to do any work. Now, a Jorns is going to get 20% of the money they find. But if you're an in-house CPA or that's already your client, 
you're, you might not even be able to charge more. It's just one of those services you should do for your client. Maybe you get a little bit of fee, but you, a lot of in, in-house CPAs, all it is is additional work and additional stress. So many of them will just very easily get their way out of it by saying, you don't qualify. And so you have got to, that's the biggest objection you got to get ready to handle, in my opinion, is that I talk to my accountant and they say, we don't qualify. And, um, and so, you know, I was talking to John Benham here and some others, he, he ran into that already and he was able to overcome it. And so many, so many of you are going to be able to overcome this too. And hey Jeff, can I give one resource? Please go to the FAQs that George gives us. They are literally so simple. If you read that, it literally tells them the breakdown of it. And then the other thing we're using too, Jeff, um, and Brian Piper has been really big at this because he got a bunch of people. One, we're doing a lot of warm market, kind of the same strategy we did before, but, um, we're telling them, hey, why don't you put your name in both hats? It's 2,600 fully refundable. Why not put it with this place and see who can get you back more and kind of pitting them against each other. And it's working really well because at the end of the day, let your CPA do what they're going to do. Go ahead and throw your name here and see who can, who's going to be able to come back with a bit better numbers for you. So they're just different strategies when you come to the CPA part. Um, yeah, we submitted in the two weeks we're on 20 businesses have now submitted. And a lot of it is that warm market, we recruited 161 people into the business. So we're, we're, we're running um, through the warm market part of it. But I think you, the, you the, have 20, you have 20 submitted already. Yeah, I heard 80. So I'm like trying to do the math. You have 25%. You have 25% of all the <laughs> yeah, I'm the numbers submitted. Here, you know? Hey, I, hey, you know, building armies. But, 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 the, but the, the other thing too, the, those, the FAQs and then the IRS website, uh, my son actually found, I got my 19 year old going crazy on it. They have such good stuff. I'll post a link in here. There is literally flyers that you can use on the back end that say the Biden Harris administration have put this in the, it, there's, there's some good resources that we can back up after we show George that, and you might have it already, Chris, I don't know, but, but some of that stuff that we're leveraging, like when we get that, like my CPA said, it's not real. Well, this <laughs> is from the treasury. I don't know who you want to be listening to. So um, that's some stuff too. Uh, Chris, I'll send you over some of the stuff that we're using. I know you guys are doing these trains, yeah. but um, we're, we're getting it. We're getting in the weeds. I got, I got, these 19 year old men know how to find all this stuff on, on the stuff on the back end. So we're working everyone's skill sets. Um, and then there's also lists of everyone that got the PPP loans back that tells you who got them back and got forgiven. So we're attacking all those lists and just set different strategies to kind of go get it and then stay in the warm market too. So anyway, Jason, uh, just, just out of curiosity, what do you think you'll do next month? Oh, dude, we did 20 in the trial kind of beta test month. What are you going to do next month? Next 30 uh, days. Well, our next 30 day goal is, 500 companies, but the whole goal for the whole thing is 10,000. We're going to recruit 10,000 people. We're going to have them find us 10 companies, 100,000, 3 million employees, $6.63 billion, and pay out our little organization 3.7 billion. That's our goal by the time it's done by 2025. So you're saying I should up my goals, is what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, and I'm like, okay, well, because let's adjust better's overall goal. No, here. I'm, no. <laughs> Because it's all volume. There's 29 million companies that haven't put in for it yet. There's only of those. There's you know you have 20 percent have put in for this. It's it's volume. And if you're gonna, we're just teaching our guys not to slow down on the ones that are fighting it. Just keep moving. There's so many out there that'll put in for it if you just stay on the game while you're still doing the other businesses. And honestly, if you take two to three hours a day to focus on this, you can run all your other businesses and not have to stop anything. It's just a short window of time to yeah. to not miss this moment. So anyway, that's it. Yes, that's what we got going on. Awesome. Thanks, Jason. Appreciate it. Does anybody have any questions of the process for, for uh, Curtis while we have him on? And make sure to mark your calendars for next Friday, same time. Mm -hmm. I just want to make a statement. Curtis, you're the bomb, bro. Listen, I know <laughs> you got, I, I called him the other day and I told him this, but I'm going to say it publicly because, man, I can only imagine <laughs> dealing with a bunch of entrepreneurs trying to learn a new thing. I, I told him, hey, I'm going to send you a nice little present at the end of this thing. No, but but all seriousness, I appreciate you. Man. You've been nothing but top notch in helping us try to understand this stuff. And I know we're all learning as we're going. But I just want to say, like I told you, when we get back on again, I'm going to do it. But I called you privately. But I appreciate you, man. Like this is this is a lot of moving pieces. We're trying to learn, and I know we're not the easiest to deal with. So I appreciate you, man, and how patient you've been and everything else. So I, that's, I just want to say that you. Because I know I told you that when I called you, but it, it's definitely my pleasure. And and and. You know, just like you guys, though, I'm out there in the field mixing it up, like signed up a business a couple hours ago. So I understand 
you know, what you guys are going through and the challenges. So I, I'm doing everything to make your life easier and my life easier just as well. So I'm happy to do it. Thank you, Jason, though, for, you know, everything that you're doing to help. I, you know, guys, just realize that, you know, and I know you're realizing this with everything with better. We're working our best to get this thing in perfect shape um, immediately. And I was talking to someone earlier today, and, and I'll make sure to walk all you guys through it right now. But um, we have a unique link for every single person who's gone through the sign up process. And, um, and sometimes guys, just like, you know, we're used to being in some of these organizations where they've been around for a decade or been around for 20, 30 years. And, uh, you know, ERC, we've been selling for 30, 30 days, Jeff, I believe it is. Probably 33. <laughs> 30, 30, 33 days. But point being is um, it's going to take, I know, I know it's going to take a little bit for everyone to get accustomed to the process we're going through. So uh, I'm here to help. Let me know what we can do. Reach out to support at a better life for sure. We'll, we'll help you with everything. Um, if there are any specific questions like Jeff was mentioning, we will we'll help you right here, right now. Yeah, I got a quick one. Got Thank it. you guys for everything. Go for Appreciate it. it. And um, you guys hear me okay? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So that link you guys did, you guys implemented that link to have our uh, code in for sending out to the businesses was huge. Um, is there a potential possibility of having that same sort of process for the sign up uh, recruit application process? That's a good question. Um, that might be something that we could look at doing. I'd have to check with um, our tech guys to see, because we're uh, funny enough that link, the unique link, and I'll show everyone that right after I, I help Mark here with this question. But um, that was set up on Jorn's side and the sign up is more on our side. So I'll see if we can build something like that. that that's a really good idea and it would simplify things. Um, so I'll, we'll, we'll try and get that nailed down. Now to his, uh, to his initial point that he's referencing there, and I realize that not everyone realizes this, I'm gonna share my screen really quick. Um, this, is, this is a snapshot of my back office. So this is my code, I'm AA20 or 2309. And you'll notice that there's right here, it just says Jorn's affiliate link. This is my unique Jorn CPA affiliate link. So if I click on this link or send this to a, a business owner, it's going to send them to this landing page. And, and a lot of you guys have already seen this video. This is the video that, you know, we've been sending out to everyone already. And, um, and it gives little, you know, statistics of how much they've recovered for companies already. And like Jeff was pointing up now, there, there are over 7,000 companies that they've helped recover almost $4 billion. And then this is the registration form. So they're going to put in their name, business name, state, phone number, email. And you'll note pre-filled, not editable is my agent code. So in other words, there's no, there's no that company going, who was it that sent me this? Or uh, I don't know his agent code. I'm just going to click submit anyways. It's already pre-filled. So there's no room for error. And if they have further questions, there's, there's a whole sales page here. So they'll get a chance to answer all their questions. And then when they're ready, they just go through this form. They're automatically sent over to the next, you know, the engagement letter that they need to sign and then set up with um, actually paying the, the fully refundable security deposit. So this is a, an extremely simple process. So make sure that if you have already signed up uh, for uh, Better Business Solutions, you'll see it in your back office. If you haven't, just go to betterincome.poweredagency.com. I'll throw the link in the chat here. But that is, that's the process. Very simple, very streamlined. So um, make sure that all of you get a chance to dive in there so you can familiarize yourself with it. And just when you send it over to a company, just make sure it says that, that last little string. It has to say the part about better and then also your agent code. If that's all in there, then they'll automatically be attributed to you. All right. Um, I see Karen, you have your hand up. Uh, go ahead and unmute. Hi, thank you. And and you pretty no much answered my question. My question was that process. So my first one that I submitted, you didn't have this link. So um, now when I do in my next one that I'm going after, if they see that link and they automatically just go in and sign up before they even come back to me, there's no issues. I don't still need to send the engagement letter or it, the no, they have to send the letter. Right, you'll be automatically funneled. 
they'll be automatically funneled over to the engagement letter. So all of that is going to be covered. It's just the next step in the line after they hit submit. So okay. that should be good. And then Karen, go ahead and shoot over to support at a better life. Uh, just so we make sure we have logged that previous company, um, just shoot over what, what company it is you sent over so we can make sure that you get credit for it. Awesome. Okay. Right. So, hey, Zeus. Yeah, no problem. Hey, Curtis. Appreciate what you're doing. Hey, Jeff. Glad to have you back. Uh, my question was, I, I work with a couple of different business owners that own different companies, and usually they house in the same location. Location. Would they have any issues, or would they need to file? Uh, I... So just so everyone can kind of think with this, um, ERC is specifically based off of the employee identification number. So it's the company is, it doesn't so much matter its location. I'm, I'm hoping I'm answering this question correctly, but it, it really just depends on what those, um, what EIN paid the employee taxes, the, whatever EIN filed that 941 quarterly return, exactly. Whoever filed that tax return, they're the, the company that gets the credit toward to get back employee re, uh, retention credit. So location shouldn't so much matter. It would just be that EIN. And if they have three awesome. businesses in one location, that's three different ERC cases, you know. Exactly. Awesome. So three more to get submitted. It, follow, it follows the tax return, right? Exactly. Yeah. Okay. And then Andre, go ahead. Andre, you rocking the better shirt today? He's rocking, he's rocking the shirt. He's rocking the better shirt. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that what that literally wasn't planned. <laughs> um, you just answered my question. In fact, I was writing it into an email to a company right now. So thank you. Perfect. All right, Louise. Awesome. Thank you, Curtis. Um, my question was uh, for um, in terms of restaurants. You know, they have a lot of employees, but not a lot of them are full time. I know this is kind of geared for the full time. Do their um, do their uh, um, time put in? Does that count? Does, does it add up? Like, or how, yeah. how, does that, how does that break down? Because I'm getting that question in terms of, well, you know, I mean, because I, I was part of the restaurant for 20 years. So they have a lot of employees, but some of them work 20 hours, 30 hours are not technically sure. full time. So how does that? kind of break down if you know so be a little bit better equipped yeah it's a great question and um fortunately for us the only area where i would say part-time or part-time versus full-time really comes into play as a problem is if they have over 500 full-time employees it's not that they don't qualify it's just that the the challenges start mounting in the the qualification process is much more complicated but if we're talking about a restaurant uh, their part-time staff are probably just making less money than their full-time staff and doing less hours, to your point. And all of the hours and all of the money that they're making go toward ERC because as long as they were an employee, they're, pay they're paying all those same employment taxes. It's just going to be probably less per person, but it will all count. So okay, that so won't be a problem at all. Perfect. So it's accurate to say that it doesn't matter that they're not full-time they're still right. going to get some credits, but they're obviously going to be limited, right? Exactly. That and is 100% so, accurate. Perfect. This probably goes without saying, Lewis, they have to be employees that are on the books, you know? Right. There's just okay, a lot awesome. of it. it just Because that's, that's what all this is being based on, is, is okay. payroll tax. So. Perfect. Awesome. Exactly. Thank you so much. No problem. And then let's see. Uh, what do I say? Good. Okay, uh, Lido, sorry, I'm just looking at your question here. So it, he, Lido is asking here um, how we set up the, the link in that way. And I could walk you through, I guess, how to set up the link, but I don't think that that'll help you very much. What would be, what I would suggest doing is logging into betterincome.poweredagency.com and when you log in with your code, you know, throw in your code, throw in your password, log in, you'll see on your home page, your link is already pre-populated there. So anyone who's looking for their link here, I'm going to just type in, I'm going to walk you through this process right now of, of actually just signing in. So I'm going to, I'm going to throw up uh, the link. Okay. So you're going to go, 
I'll, I'll probably have to log out here. So here, let me log out so you can see the whole process. Um, oh, I have a different, you would, so right here, you would put in your code and then right here, obviously you're throwing in your password. So I have a special link cause it's a back office link, but your code and your password would go there. You'd hit sign in and then that your Jorn's affiliate URL would be right here. And yours will have attached to it your code. The only reason you're not seeing it with mine is this is my back office logon, but yours will have a full link right here with your agent code attached to it. You don't have to worry about setting it up at all. It's automatically already set up for you. Mm -hmm. um, so I hope that answers that question. Um, and then uh, yeah, who else has any other questions? And it could be technical questions like we've been handling or process questions, whatever, whatever you got, I'll help you. Hey, I, uh, good afternoon. I was gonna ask you, so I was just uh, sent a link early and I just wanna make sure I did it right to have somebody join, you know, as a team member. And so when yeah, I do yeah. that um, and I send them the link, they're gonna use the code that I have for Jorns. Is that right? So. Yeah, so um, as an example, my code is AA2039. Uh, and that would be my both co code to submit business with Jorns, but also if I'm gonna you know, bring on a business partner, that would be the code I would use for that as well. I would give them my code, and then when they're going through that signup process, they would use that. So they're one and the same code um, for both processes. Yeah. Perfect. Hey, Curtis, okay. real quick, well, it's, Mike. Um, hi, Mike. I just want to comment in case it's helpful to anyone else. I'm, I'm, you know, we've built a commercial, as Jeff mentioned, uh, built a commercial insurance agency over the past about 20 years. And, you know, so I'm, I'm always really cautious when something new comes. I want to vet it out and research it and know that I know that I know before I introduce clients to anything because those relationships are, are so important to us. And um, of course, I trust Jeff Levitan implicitly. We've known each other forever and, and he's just, they don't come any better, you know? So when he reached out to me and said, hey, this is, this is an opportunity you should look at. Aside from what we can all do individually, I, I look at it and I think, man, what are we doing for our clients? You know, I mean, to bring them the potential to have these returns, some of them are struggling, some of them have done better, at, but, but the fact that they could have funds coming back to them it's, it would almost be a disservice for us not to deliver this to them. And over the last two weeks, I've done a ton of research. I've dug in deep. I've talked to accountants. We spoke to a forensic accountant. Um, and it, it is 100%, I mean, I feel 100% confident and comfortable delivering this to my clients and especially through Jorns. I mean, some of the things that, that I think are key points that we should remember is number one, that this everything signed off by a CPA. Um, I ran into another company that a, that a friend of mine also in the insurance business was using, and it was not a CPA sign off. Um, secondarily, that they wanted their client to file the return versus uh, Jorn's filing the return. That's a big deal. I think that could create a red flag for an audit. Um, the fact that they stand behind the audit and would defend the audit, and then last is you know an important piece is the um, the E O protection. So I just want to mention that in case it's helpful to anyone else. Yeah, Mike, that's that's a brilliant set of points. And um, if any anyone is qualified to know Jeff's character, it's someone who's been friends with him what pretty much all both of your adult lives so pretty much that's 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 great and then um also if anyone's going to get let's say like a most valuable player of the last like 48 hours just so everyone knows it would be this guy he's i think submitted more more cases than most in the last 24 hours so that's amazing uh very very well done i know that you don't need to be told that but um very very well done and then also one thing that i think that's worth noting that um that he brought up there not only is is uh jorn submitting more cases than anyone not only do they have the eno coverage this five-year audit protection uh some people i think unknowingly are creating an objection by pitching that in in an incorrect way and i think think there's a correct way and a wrong way to say this because if you if you state this as uh jorn's does nothing but employee retention credits what someone goes and says is, okay, well, then that means they're going to close up shop in 2025, which is, is 
first off, just so you guys know, it's actually, they're focused on a lot of credits that they're starting to build out. Employee retention credits just happens to be something that they've put a lot of energy behind because it's something worth specializing in. But I've had, um, I've had a couple conversations with the chief operations officer, Tony Swantech of uh, Jorns. He's the co-founder, one of the owners, and he's the chief operations officer. And we've been talking a lot. Um, one of, I, had, I worked with a company prior to this and we specialized on helping uh, businesses that uh, sell products online. And um, one aspect of that is they're doing a lot of research and development. So I was talking with Tony and they're doing a very deep dive into building out a whole nother credit, research and development credits. And that is a credit that doesn't expire. So this is just something you can use as like a little tool when someone says, well, are they gonna close up shop in 2025? Absolutely not. They're diving in on a lot of other credits. This is a full blown accounting firm. They're not going anywhere. So that's just another thing for you to think with just as like a common objection that we hear a lot that you can easily handle. Um, other than this. that, thank you, Mike. Yeah. No, that's a great comment. Thanks, Mike. And thanks, Curtis. Everyone, I, I heard the term today and I love it. It's hero money. Hero money. You're the hero if you get these companies this money, whether it's 50 employees, 100 employees, you get them back a, a million dollars, $2 million directly from the treasury. That's hero money. You're the hero for bringing that to fruition, what else can you come in and, and bring to the table after that? You know, if you think long-term in building a business, now look, I know my biggest fear here is that you make so much money, you're done. Our sales force we build is retired at the end of 12 months and we can't find you anywhere. You don't even have a, a trackable phone. You know, you're like one of these you know, one of these secret agents that has burner phones and you live on an island and, you know, they got to fly a helicopter in to pick you up for the battle, whatever. Uh, you know, there's a possibility that people make that much money that they're done at the end of this. But if you're not, if you're not, what else can you bring to the table and how easy is the appointment to get when you call back up that owner in two years and you say you got them a million, million and a half back and you call them up and say, I have another idea. Do you got a minute? Do you think they're going to have a minute to hear your next idea and your next idea and your next idea? So you're going to be the hero at the end of this. And, um, and so I love doing this type of stuff. And I think, as Mike said, if you think of the crusade of the product um, for a lot of businesses, uh, it, it's going to be their saving grace, especially going into this period of recession um inflation all the stuff go we're on the very front edge have you already noticed by the way that uh i went to rotary club this morning i'm really into that here in alpharetta it's a service organization if you want to find a lot of businesses real quick for for this join your local rotary club there's 160 members and all of them not only own businesses most of them sell the businesses so there's that group probably represents a few thousand businesses and I'm just getting started in there. But I'll tell you this, um, while, while I was in there and uh, meeting with all these people this morning, um, it, it just, it, it dawned on me that, that they're hurting. Some of these people own mortgage companies. There's probably three mortgage brokers in there and they've been coming in the last two years with a lot of swagger. You know, they're walking in a rotary, chef, chest puffed out, you know, closing deals every day, all day. Of course, when in, when they're giving money away and it's almost 3%, 4% fixed interest rate loans, the lowest in the history of the world, almost free money. Of course, it's great, but it has come to a screeching halt. It hasn't slowed down. This last bump of another three quarters percent. Um the mortgage guys are hurting. If you want to go recruit some people right now, go recruit some mortgage people and the realtors are soon to follow. It's going to be another 30, 60 days. And most of them are going to, their business is going to dry up too. And there's tons of them out there. They need something. I went to them today in Rotary and I said, hey, come see me next week. I'm around all week. Don't worry. I've got a lifeboat for you. And I'm going to get them to turn right around and start selling ERC. And, um, and parlay it right in. 
So if you want to go recruit some people, I'm telling you right now, mortgage people are first um, and uh, anyone that markets and sells to businesses, but mortgage people are great right now and realtors are right around the corner. So there you have it. Awesome. Any other questions? All right. We don't need to belabor this call, everybody. We, you have ERC to do. So I want to let you get off the line and go close some deals. And uh, by next week's call, I can't wait to see where the numbers are. I really think we could be double by next week at this time. I don't want you to come on this call unless you do a deal between now and next week. You're wasting your time. <laughs> Stop playing around with this thing, okay? This is your chance you've been waiting for your whole life. Let's do something about it. Just get out there. Get very uncomfortable. Get very uncomfortable talking to everywhere. It's Friday night. It's date night. Go out. Have a beer. Have a have a dinner somewhere and say, where's the owner of this place? And they're going to think you're going to complain, but they're going to come out from the back and you're like, hey, have you heard of ERC? Did you get your ERC <laughs> money yet? By the way, the steak is great. Did you get your ERC money yet? You know what I mean? So uh, let's do that tonight. It'll be a fun weekend, everybody. You'll be blowing people away. Thanks for being on. Uh, I'll let you close out the call since you're the host. Curtis, next week at the same time, we're going to have Greg Ammerman on, and he's going to do purely role-playing and Q&A. So it's going to be awesome. Uh, it's something you won't want to miss. You want to get everyone on next week. Thanks for being on. Absolutely. Thanks, guys. And um, just to kind of follow up with Jeff said, um, this is definitely something that we're, we're very excited about. We're, we're laying out everything as fast as you can send it our way. Um, if you have any questions, if you need any help at all, reach out to support at A Better Life, and we'll definitely make sure to take care of you. Um, it, it also, if there are any deals that you know didn't necessarily go through that unique affiliate link, go ahead and reach out to support. Let us know what you sent in, because we want to make sure that everyone gets credit where credit is due. And um, yeah, I to Jeff's point, I get notifications every time you guys submit uh, deals in, and my phone just goes off the hook. So just keep them coming, keep doing exactly, you know, everything you can. And um, we'll see you guys here. We've got obviously a number of other calls throughout the week. We've got a Clearwater call on Monday, three o'clock would be the next one. Um, otherwise, again, like Jeff said, we'll see you all uh, Friday, 3 p.m. for the next ERC call. Have a great weekend and we'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much. Bye. Thank you.